Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mod, and today we're going to continue with the Ecto 1 with issue 6 of the Epic Build. Now, hopefully, my sound sounds better today. Um, my microphone wasn't set up properly yesterday, so people are finding it hard to hear me. But I've uh, had a play around with the settings and hopefully it's going to be a lot better for you guys today. So you can hear what I'm actually saying. <laughs> so a few technical issues, but hopefully we'll get back to, uh, we'll get back to uh, normal uh, videoing. So let's get modelling. Right, so let's get uh, this open. Uh, we have some screws in this one. We have some, let's have a look. We have some AP screws, uh, which we've had before. So let's uh, open these up. We have some DM screws. So again, let's open these up. And last but not least, we have some BP screws. And we've had the, all of these screws before, so no new screw types this time. Uh, right, they're all out. Okay, so let's uh, get open this thing. So what, what, there we go. So what we're actually going to be doing today is we are going to be doing the left engine block, dipstick and ignition wire junction. Uh, whatever that actually means just making sure everything's in its right place because I like to keep them in these so they're easy to get to so first of all it's asking us to get this part here and we're literally going to be putting in is this correct I believe this part here and we need to slot that into there and this is going to be secured with some DM screws let me just line that up no nope, that doesn't want to line up so let's get a DM screw and probably what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start these off with the DM with the uh, wear screwdriver and then move on to the um, Aurea screwdriver well let's just see how these going first so let's get that first one in yeah it's a little bit tight so I will get the uh, the other screwdriver because I can get a lot more force with it uh, in, so I can screw these in so I should pull that down there let's get this bad boy out And if I remember correctly, yesterday I was using a uh, da, 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 two zero, so it was 1.5, that one there. So let's get this loaded up. Right, and we'll finish getting this screwed in. Nope, a bit too big, so let's just go down one. See if this is okay. Nope. That one's too uh, small. Right. We'll try 2.5. See if that is any better. And that's perfect. It's just getting the right connection. That's the first one then. And that's the second one in. Nice and tight. <laughs> okay, so what it wants us to do next, excuse me, I've got everything going flying all over the place. It wants us to get the dipstick and it wants us to slot it in to here like so. That's correct. Ah, no. I'm just looking at this. No, it goes around that way. 
so slot that in okay and it doesn't say it needs gluing so it just says finally push the dipstick into the pinhole at the side of the left, left engine block okay so we've done that so let's have a quick look at that on close-up camera and that is what that part is looking like on the close-up camera so you can see we have the dipstick in here this bit here and we have this little bit here on that as well so let's go back to the main camera so the next part it wants us to do is to get this bit here um, I believe this is the left side of the engine block now this is actually made of plastic so we're trying to keep the weight down and what it wants us to do is it wants us to get I believe this is from my knowledge of cars this is the exhaust manifold and it wants us to slot it in to here looking just like that and then from that it wants us to screw it in with some AP screws so let's get some AP screws oh that one didn't want to go in we well, did but it just wanted to go in at an angle so we'll get the first one in let's get the second one in and then let's get the third one in and then we'll tighten it down with my other screwdriver set so let's uh, now screw all three of these in properly do one side do the other side and the last side there we go okay so we've got that in place now um i've actually made a bit of a state mistake i've actually gone ahead of myself would you believe and i missed a part off on this one um and it's this little thing here and that needs actually screwing in um let's have a look let's have a look it wants to be screwed in down here and i can't believe i've made a mistake like that um so yeah i better get on with that now the only problem is it doesn't say which way it's got to be because it looks to be a little bit longer on one side than it does on the other so a little bit of guesswork on this one let's see what it says so uh to, uh to the left engine block you screw in with dm screws which you've done no part three and fits to the bottom of the left and using dm screws so it doesn't actually say what uh which way it goes in so a little bit of guesswork but we'll uh we'll put it in i'll just quickly do this with the wearer screwdriver and that's that bit in so sorry about that missed that part out would you believe <laughs> okay so we'll go back over to this hopefully we don't make any more mistakes so we put that in now and what he wants us to do next is we've got this little bit here with like the four holes uh, I'll just put that on close-up camera hold on and as you can see on that piece there it's actually got some like four holes in the top and that's going to be connected to this bit here that we've uh, just done so we'll do that now okay so we're just going to put this part on here now i'm just uh, seeing if it requires glue so uh, the rest of the ignition wire junction sits on the over the edge into the middle of the cylinder so it doesn't look like we're actually going to be screwing this down but it is going to be a bit fiddly it being there and then we're having to put this engine cover over 
let me see if I can line it up so it stays in place right okay so that stayed in place uh, I'm gonna have to hold the top of the engine block and finally he wants us to screw this down with some BP screws now I am aware that we haven't used many AP screws but we've used quite a lot of BP screws which is uh, okay a bit weird but uh, Oh, we've got some AP. Um, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Shut up, Mark, and just get on with what you're supposed to be doing. So, just follow the instructions. Let's get this in. Try and load this up on the screwdriver. I just want to get one side in. So I'm not... Uh, I don't have to hold this engine block cover much um, because of that part not being glued in. I mean, I suppose you could put a bit of glue on it um, if you wanted to, uh, just to make sure it's secured in there. But I'm going to try and follow the instructions for once um, and, yeah, get this in. I don't know why I'm making some stupid mistakes today um, by getting ahead of myself. But, uh, oh well. Uh, so let's get that in. And the last one down into there, if it wants to go down into there. Let me put this on the screwdriver. And let's get that in like so. Okay, so now we have the uh, engine block cover on. Now, what it wants us to do next, it wants us to get this thing here. I'm facing this way around. It then wants to put it, it wants us to put, let's get this right. The dipstick thing head has got to go into there and it wants us to fit that like that and as you can see the head of the dipstick is actually coming through the exhaust manifold and where i just said that uh, it's not secure we're not really using ap screws guess what we're using ap screws <laughs> so yeah um just at the moment I'm trying to get ahead of myself so let's get AP screw loaded up and then it wants us to secure that down here so that's one in so that's one securely fastened and that's two securely fastened okay so next thing wants us to get this part we had uh, from stage five and it wants us to get this engine block and it wants us to put it over there like that and then it wants us to screw it in with a DM screw to secure it. So let's get a DM screw. Let's get it in. And that's it started and I'm going to use my Oreo screwdriver make sure that goes in securely and that is it that is the left side of the engine block so let's have a look at this on close-up camera and as we can see on the close-up camera that is what we have done today and that's looking pretty nice all this here so I come for the is metal and down here is metal, but on top of here is plastic. 
But that looks pretty nice. Um, it's going to be quite a nice big uh, chunky engine when it's done, I think. And I presume what we'll be doing on the next issue is probably doing the right side of the engine. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's issue six. Right, well that's it for today, uh, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that stage. It was a bit challenging. I keep on going ahead of myself. What it is, is I'm still getting used to the Eagle Moss instructions. Um, they're not as clear as the model Space Stroke D'Agostini instructions. So um, with them, you'd have a box for every single bit you do. But in these, the kind of space saving on the uh, printing. So uh, that's why sometimes I seem to get ahead of myself. And uh, yeah. So, and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it, so. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying the way these new videos are done um, with the new close-up camera and also putting the instructions on the video as well. So you can kind of see what I'm seeing and what I need to be doing. Um, but if, uh, if you want to say anything about it, please like in the comments. Uh, I do have my Amazon uh, gift store as well that is uh, located in the about section of this uh, channel uh, so if you just click on there and there is the link for the uh, about section for the channel uh, tonight I will be live on the Root Master show so it, I'm not hosting it I'm just one of the guests or co-hosting it so don't click on my channel expecting to get to the Root Master because that would be on a YouTuber called Fleetwood J who's hosting that tonight. But I will be in there as a co-host, uh, having a good laugh and a uh, good chat with the guys and gals, if there's any gals, uh, girls coming in tonight. Anyway, so if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe, please. And if you want to be notified of when my next video comes up, then please hit that notification bell. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.